Hey guys, welcome back to Flatback Effects, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own animations and video effects. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make one of the most iconic Star Wars effects, the light speed effect. Now I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one, so if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Okay, so let's jump over to After Effects and get started. Now before we get started, I recommend checking out our little Star Wars fan film, and I've linked to that in the description below. Now I've also added a slider at the bottom of this video, and you can use this if you wanna skip ahead to a different part of the tutorial. Now all the files you need to follow along with this tutorial are also available to download for free via a link below. Okay, so over in After Effects, you're going to want to import those two files that I've linked to in the description below. Next, what we're gonna do is actually set up our composition. Now there's two effects that we're actually going to be making here. Now the first is actually this iconic light speed look where we have these white streaking lines. And the second one is the more modern light speed effect where we have this blue moving tunnel. Now I've already supplied you with the finished version of this tunnel. And the reason for this is you actually need to create this using a paid plugin. And because most of you won't have access to that plugin, I've rendered out a finished version of this that we're going to add into our effect. So what I'm going to do is right click on this video file and create a new composition. Then I'm simply just gonna turn this off for the time being. Next, what we're gonna do is create a solid. I'm going to call mine stars and I'm going to leave this as white and then hit okay. Next, with that layer selected, I'm going to come up to Effect, down to Simulation, and this is the one we want here, the CC Starburst. Now straight away you can see it's created these stars, which already give us the look that we're kind of going for. But we're just going to make a few adjustments here. The first thing we're going to do is actually change this to 200, and I want to change the speed to be 5. So that's merely just changing how fast we want this effect to play out. If you want yours faster, you can turn this up or slower, you can turn this down. The other thing we're going to change here is we're going to set this to be about five. And this really just controls how much space is between these points. The other thing we're going to do is actually just turn the size down to about 20. So I find that that looks about right. Now the moment our stars are just moving towards the camera, they're not actually creating the streaks of that iconic light speed look. Now the way we actually do this is by adding another effect called echo. So we select our layer, we come up to effect, down to time, and this is what we want here, echo. Now what echo actually does, it's like a repeater. So every time we see a point, what it's going to do is repeat that over a specific period of time. Now the first thing we want to do is, is change this echo time to negative 0 0.0001. So that's basically telling it where we want the next pixel to actually appear. And in this case, we pretty much want them to be on top of each other to create that long streak. The next thing is we wanna specify how many echoes, in this case, how many points we actually want to create. Now, depending on your system, this can vary in time it actually takes to load, but if your system's taking a lot longer than you want, all you need to do is just come down here and drop the resolution. But just keep in mind what you're actually seeing on screen is not going to be the finished look. So it's always good if you're making any adjustments to switch between the full and the quarter look. The other thing I like to do is just also set this echo operator to maximum. Now, if I just play through the first part of this, you can see that we've got a bit more of that classical looking light speed effect where the stars are streaking into these lines. Now you could actually go a little bit further with this and actually increase the size of your starburst and also reduce the scatter. And that's gonna create more lines on the screen. So if I play through that, you can see we've got a bit more of that sort of classical looking Star Wars light speed effect. Now, if that's a look you're going for, that's all you really need to do. And you can skip ahead to the end part where we actually add the cockpit over this image. But for those of you that are going for the more modern light speed effect, we're gonna go back to our original settings here. And I'm going to take my light speed tunnel and I'm going to duplicate it and just drag this above. So we've got our tunnel which sits over our stars. And then what I actually want to do is come down to the track mat settings for the star layer. If yours is not there, just right click, come down to columns, make sure modes is selected, and make this luma matte for that light speed tunnel effect. And all that's doing is on the lighter parts of that image, it's going to make those streaks more light, 
and then the darker parts it's going to make darker. Now if we also turn on the light speed tunnel on the bottom, you can see that we've now got a combination of the two. The other thing I'm going to do with that stars layer is actually drop the opacity down to maybe around 50%. Now, the other thing I want to do with my stars here is I don't want them to be white. I want them to kind of have a blue tone to them. So I'm gonna come up to effect, down to color correction and add the tint. And what I want to do is just map the white color to one of these blue colors. I'm just gonna make this to maybe something around there. So we've actually just colorized that star layer with a little bit of blue. Now that's up to you actually how far you want to go with that. And like I've said before, if you want to add more of those stars, all you need to do is just increase the size and you can make that effect more prominent in the video. Now, maybe you don't even want to use that star effect. You just want to go with this blue tunnel. Well, that's entirely up to you and you can do that. You can just use this pre-animated tunnel as you would like. But I find having that star effect layered over the top of that tunnel just looks a little better. Now, the other thing I want to add here is I want to add an adjustment layer that goes over all of my layers and I'm going to add a curves to that adjustment layer. And all we're going to do is we're going to bring the blacks down slightly and we're going to lift these whites very slightly as well. And that's just going to give us a bit more of that contrasted sort of look. Now at the moment, that's looking really good. Now the other thing I've supplied for you is this cockpit image, which you can simply drag and drop over the top of this tunnel. And then all we want to do with this image is actually darken this image down. So I'm gonna come up to effect down to color correction and add the curves. So we can darken this right down like this. And we can also come back to effect down to color correction and add the tint effect. And here we can just make the white a blue sort of color to match that, to match that tunnel. Now this is totally optional and you don't have to add this image of the cockpit. You could add anything you like. You could put your own cockpit image over the top or you could even add a little model of a TIE fighter or X-wing or something like that flying through the tunnel. But in this case, I'm gonna use the cockpit. Now at the moment that looks really good, but what I want to do is just add a little bit of camera shake just to help sell this effect. So we can right click create a new null object and if I hit P on the keyboard, I can bring up the position properties. I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch and just type a very simple expression. Wiggle open bracket two comma 10 and then close bracket. Then if I take all those layers, excluding my adjustment layer and just parent them to that null object, I can scale up this cockpit very slightly here so we don't see the edges, you can see we've added a little bit of movement into that effect. Now that's as much as we're actually going to cover in this tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to animate the start and the end of this effect into light speed and out of light speed. But if you're interested in learning how to do that, maybe put a comment down below. And if enough of you want to see that, we can consider making a tutorial. So there you go, guys. That's how you create the iconic Star Wars light speed effect. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more great After Effects tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.